name is Marta, this is Ilona, and we had a very nice and cold night actually. No, well, actually the night, the night was good, but the morning was very cold and we just lit up the fireplace again. We've got a little sandwiches, made a nice little cup of coffee and in a second we're just gonna go for a nice walk. It has been melting all night long because it was 6 degrees. Uh, it is 6 degrees outside. So the snow is getting melted very very fast actually. As you can see it is uh, melting. Yesterday that was all white. I took some nice pictures during that as well. So that means that today we're gonna have a very slushy morning but I don't mind because Pelion is great and beautiful with every single weather. I mean if you look outside right now I mean for everybody who has seen The Hobbit I know we're, we're behind the, the mosquito curtains right now but this is like from Lord of the Rings or something like that. Very cool. And just like that we're in Platania where it all began for me and for a lot of other people and it's actually kind of busy right now. Didn't expect it with that weather but it's beautiful. We all know quite a number of people who have everything that it would take to be happy and they are not happy because they want something else or they want more of the same. And we all know people who have lots of misfortune and they are deeply happy. They radiate happiness. Why? Because they are grateful. They're called Caldarimia. They're a couple of hundred years old and the people we're walking with, they're called Friends of Caldarimi. And the nice thing of these people, they are actually taking care of these ancient old roads that lead from all over. That lead all over. And what I like, the fact is that the people that are walking with us, they're not Greek, most of them, but they're from England, from France, from Italy, from Germany, from Holland, from Belgium also. But it's a decent climb, to be honest. The view is amazing. So if you're ever here, it doesn't matter which season, winter, summer, or fall, you should definitely come. And it's been quite exhausting, to be honest. Even though we're right now walking with all kinds of generations, we're walking with people that are close to 70 years old or around 70, and we're the youngest bunch right now. Uh, I really recommend younger people also to definitely come here and follow the route that is uh, written out by the friends of Caldarimi. Everybody's always super friendly, and in summer definitely a lot of more tourists walk along as well. And I have to say it is very good as well as a workout because even though it is today not that very warm, it is getting hot when you walk up here and it's very nice between the olive trees 
There's beautiful views. A lot of the men are also singing in the choir. How are you doing? Nice. Nice. Great. It is a little wet. Huh? It's muddy. How do you like the people? Oh, I love it. Oh, the friends of the Calderim. It's different, than, it's different than our road tracks. I think actually we should take all our members one time for a walk. I'm not sure if they will want to. They, they have to. <laughs> this is a message to my road tractors. If I will ever be president, be aware because you're going to walk this part. Good luck. <laughs> No, it is a. I thought it was a two-hour walk, but it's almost okay. a. Th no, it's a, it's gonna be almost a three-hour walk. It's now half oh, past two one. Hours. Yeah, we're we are already walking for two hours now, and we're just we just reached Afolianes, or we're going to reach Afolianes, which is a, a little mountain village. Not even a village; it's like a community area. The view from here is amazing because on one side you got the mountain, and on the other side you got the beautiful view of the sea. Muddy and wet but nice and we can complain about the rain and the muddiness oh, it's okay. but especially this makes it so special because you will barely find this rain so muddy and so awful because it's not awful. it is no it, but it's Beautiful. because of the, the snow and everything and because of the snow it all became so muddy it all just started melting but definitely in like two or three weeks it is only gonna be warm up here and it's gonna turn into dust a big as dusty area now Platania, finally. we're back in Platania after a three and a half hour walk we are back in Platania with very dirty shoes yeah our shoes are very dirty but I love it I'm, yes. I'm sweating my ass off though definitely because it's very warm it but it was perfect. a very nice walk I talked to very friendly people you meet a lot of people from all over the place and you hear very different stories it's very cool especially how they end up here so if you want to hear more stories maybe I think maybe we should do some like interviews one day if we got a better camera though and a little bit more views. Come on, share this video.
And just like that, we're back at home. Uh, we're gonna... We, we had a very, very nice walk. We had a very nice uh, talk with a lot of people. We had a very nice time. Uh, and right now we just are back here home and we need to clean our shoes because our shoes look just like the car. As you can see, it is very, very muddy because all the snow melts. It's not possible to clean it. In my case, they're not my shoes, so I need to really clean them. They're my dad's shoes because I did not take the correct shoes for this kind of weather. But that's not a problem. Uh, there is also an app called Wikilock. I'll share it down in the description. I'll share the link to the walk that we did today. It was a... Uh, nine kilometers about. About nine kilometers. It was amazing. It was you amazing. Beautiful parts. You have green, you have snow, you have rain, you have red leaves. It's so beautiful. Mm. Yeah. What? So now we're going to clean up the house, lock it up again. And then we're going to drive back to Volos. We'll see. This vlog is turning probably longer than it should. So most of the people stopped here. Entering Mordor. And just like that, we are back home. Uh, we had a very, we had a very good weekend this weekend. We had a very nice time. I have to say that driving back, we had a lot of rain and a lot of beautiful fog, as you could see. Uh, it was a little bit scary at one point because there was also a moment that I slipped the car. I like swiped the car 90 degrees uh, over the road, 180 degrees uh, on the road, and I corrected it correctly. Driving skills. <laughs> no. Uh, it, it's scary though sometimes. I did not drive too fast, but anyway. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, let me know by liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.